Welcome back! Are you excited to learn more about kitchen tools? Well, today is the day because we will talk about the specification of kitchen tools. At the end of the learning period, you should be able to describe each tool according to its specification, provide specific functions for each tool in the kitchen, show the connection between the specification of tools and the family life. To check your prior knowledge about our lesson, let's have your pre-test. Identify the tools being described. Choose from the pool of words. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. A type of measuring glass that is easier to read when measuring liquid ingredients. Angled measuring glass. Number 2. This is helpful for draining liquid from canned vegetables or fruits or after washing fruits or vegetables. Colander. Number 3. This tool is used to check the temperature for the food safety. Meat thermometer. Number 4. This is recommended for mixing large amount of butter or cake mix. Electric hand mixer. Number 5. This is used to protect countertops from scratches while cutting. Shopping boards. For the second part of your pretest, let's have true or false. Read the statement and write true if the statement is correct and false if it's incorrect. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. Chef's knife is used for chopping and cutting. True. Number 2. Measurement is important in baking. Also true. Number 3. Slatted spoons are used for serving pasta. False because pasta spoon is the answer. Number 4. Wheats are used for light butter mixture. True. And number 5. Grater is used for filling vegetables and fruits. False, because vegetable peeler is what is used for peeling vegetables and fruits. For the review of the previous lesson, fill in the blanks with the correct terms to complete the sentences. Choose from the pool of words. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. Blank the flower to remove lumps. Sift. Number 2. Blank the sugar into the cup until it overflows. Scoop. Number 3. Do not top or blank cup to level off. Shake. Number 4. Pack compactly the brown sugar until it follows the blank of the cup. Shape. Number 5. Level off with a spatula or back of a knife. Number 6. Place the measuring glass into a blank surface. Flat. Number 7. Fill the measuring cup or spoon with brown sugar while blank down. Pressing. Number 8. For measuring glass, check the measuring mark by blank down to eye level. Bending. Number 9. Stir the powdered milk to remove blanc. Lumps. And number 10. Blank the measuring cup with oil or butter. Grease. Now let's have the discussion of the lesson, Specification of Kitchen Tools. Let's talk about knives. 
Kitchen knives should be sharp and have a good quality. Sharp knives can cut better and is easier to work with. In selecting knives, consider buying light, comfortable, and balances in your hand. It is good to have the following knives in your kitchen. Paring knife for peeling fruits and vegetables. Serrated knife for cutting bread. And chef's knife is the most used knife for cutting and chopping chops. Now we have the cutting boards. To keep your countertops clean and scratch-free, cutting boards is a must. To prevent germs and cross-contamination of food, it is suggested to at least have a separate cutting board for meat and vegetables. Measuring spoons and measuring cups. Measurement is very important in baking and so are measuring tools. We use measuring spoons and cups for dry and liquid ingredients. Angled measuring cup is easier to read when measuring liquid ingredients. Spoons and whisk. In general, wooden spoon is used for mixing and stirring. Slatted spoon is used for draining liquids from food. Ladles are for serving soups and gravies. Pasta spoon is used for serving and keeping pasta separated. Whisk are recommended for soft mixture like butter, pancakes, or whipping egg whites. An electric hand mixer is helpful in mixing large amount of butter or cake mix, making meringue or icing from scratch. Tongs and spatulas. Tongs and spatulas are helpful for many jobs like turning food and serving food. They both come in different sizes and made from different materials. Mixing bowls. Mixing bowl is a mat in every kitchen because it is useful for mixing ingredients and also for serving food. Colander. Colander should also be a part of your list of kitchen tools. It is helpful for draining liquid from canned vegetables or fruits or pasta or for washing fruits and vegetables. Colander with stand is a good choice because you don't let the food sit in the liquid which is draining in the sink. Miscellaneous tools. Miscellaneous tools are tools that we think we don't need, but they also offer great help. Grater. Grater helps for shredding, shaving, and zesting ingredients. Potato masher is used to mash potato. Vegetable peeler are used to peel vegetables and fruits. Meat thermometer will assure the proper temperature for food safety. Kitchen timer is used to monitor cooking time. Bottle opener is used to open bottles. And can opener is used to open canned goods. For your activity, you will give two functions or uses of the tools listed. For miscellaneous tools, you will give two miscellaneous tools and its uses. Pause the video when you're answering and play the video when you're done. Knives are used for peeling, cutting, and chopping. Cutting boards are used for protection for the surface and chopping. Spoons and whisks are used for mixing, steering, serving, and draining liquid. Tongs and spatulas are used for serving food or turning food. Mixing bowls are used for serving food and mixing food. Colander are used for washing foods and draining water. For miscellaneous tools, any two from our list. We have grater for shredding, shaving, and zesting ingredients. Potato masher used to mash potatoes. Vegetable peeler used for peeling fruits and vegetables. 
meat thermometer used to check food temperature, kitchen timer used to monitor cooking time, Bottle opener used to open bottles and can opener which is used to open canned goods. For the wrap-up, answer the question below. What did you learn today? Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. To better understand the kitchen tools and the role they are playing, you will draw a family tree and write the members of your family. Under the names, explain the role each of you are playing in the family. How will you relate it to our lesson? Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. For the first part of your post-test, identify the tools being described. Choose from the pool of words. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. This tool is used to check the temperature for the food safety. Meat thermometer. Number 2. This is used to protect countertops from scratches while cutting. Chopping boards. Number 3. The type of measuring glass that is easier to read when measuring liquid ingredients. Angled measuring glass. Number four. This is helpful for draining liquid from canned vegetables or fruits or after washing fruits and vegetables. Colander. Number five. This is recommended for mixing large amount of butter or cake mix. Electric hand mixer. For the second part, read the statement and write true if the statement is correct and false if it's incorrect. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. Serrated knife is used for peeling fruits and vegetables. False, because serrated knife is used for cutting bread. And paring knife is used for peeling fruits and vegetables. Number two, spoons and whisk are used for mixing. True. Number three, tongs and spatulas are used for turning food. True. Number four, colander is helpful in washing fruits and vegetables. True. And number five, Mixing bowl is used for serving food. True as well. You did great today. Let's see each other again on the next lesson. Keep safe and God bless.